if you want to see more topics on electrical and electronics engineering then check the playlist section of this youtube channel in this video we will see an example on impedance and admittance question in the circuit of figure find io when here we have to find this io when omega is equal to 1 radian per second this is our first problem so solution first we will solve for omega is equal to 1 radian per second so this is problem a then we will copy the given circuit so let's copy it from here now we will find the impedance of this circuit so here this is given in time domain format we will convert this into its equivalent phasor domain format so convert it into phasor domain so here it is 4 cos 4 cos omega t volt so this will be 4 at an angle 0 degree volt this is Vs then this 1 Henry this will imply j omega l so j then the value of omega is 1 radian per second so 1 into inductance the value of inductance is 1 Henry so 1 into 1 so this will be only j then next is 2 ohm so this 2 ohm will remain same then 0 0.05 0 0.05 farad 0 0.05 farad so this will be 1 upon j omega c so 1 upon omega value is 1 c value is 0 0.05 0 0.05 we can solve this in calculator so 1 upon i into 0 0.05 so it is minus 20j minus 20j now let's copy the circuit again now we will change the values so this will be 4 at an angle 0 degree four at an angle zero degree this one henry this will be only j this two ohm will remain two ohm this 0 0.05 farad will be changed to minus 20 j minus 20 j and its unit will be ohm ohm here also this will be ohm and this is voltage so its unit will be volts and this will be capital IO now we can find the impedance so here we can see this 2 ohm and minus 20 J ohm are connected in parallel so 2 ohm parallel with minus 20 J minus 20 J ohm so this implies or this is equal to 2 into 2 into minus 20 j divided by 2 plus minus 20 j you can solve this in calculator directly so 2 into minus 20 j divided by 2 plus minus 20 j so this is equal to this value 1.98 1.98 minus 0 0.198 minus 0 0.198 j now if we add this if we again if we remake the circuit or we can directly add this both are connected in series with this j so it will be we can write z is equal to or total impedance is equal to 
टोटल इम्पिडेंस टोटल इम्पिडेंस इज इक्वल टू दिस जे प्लस दिस वैल्यू वन पॉइंट नाइन एट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन एट जे सो दिस विल बी कैन डायरेक्टली एड जे टू दिस प्लस जे सो इट इज वन पॉइंट नाइन एट एज इट इज वन पॉइंट नाइन एट एज इट इज देन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट प्लस जीरो पॉइंट एट जीरो प्लस जीरो पॉइंट एट जीरो जे सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टोटल इम्पिडेंस Now, according to Ohm's law, we know that I is equal to V upon Z. So the value of voltage is four at an angle zero volt, four at an angle zero degree volt, and impedance value is this value. So let's copy this impedance value from here. We can solve this in calculator. So I is equal to four at an angle zero divided by one point nine eight plus zero point eight zero into I. One point nine eight plus zero point eight zero into I. So it is in rectangular form. So shift two three. It is equal to one point eight seven three. One point eight seven at an angle minus twenty two minus twenty two, and since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. This is the value of current I, or we can write I O. This is I O. Now we got the value of I O in phasor domain. So this is in. Phasor domain, but we need the answer in time domain format. So I O is equal to I O is equal to one point eight seven cos omega t. The value of omega is one. So one t plus phi. So phi value is minus twenty two. So this will be minus twenty two degree. And since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. so this is the answer when omega is equal to 1 radian per second now next problem is when omega is equal to 5 radian per second so let's take this from here problem b when omega is equal to 5 radian per second so all values will change again we have to simplify the problem again so let's copy the circuit from here now here this will be this uh, this is in time domain format so we will convert convert it into into phasor domain phasor domain so this will be 4 cos omega t is equal to is equal to 4 at an angle 0 degree volt this one henry will be one henry inductance will imply j omega l so j into omega value is phi u into l value is 1 so this will be j phi u ohm then this 2 ohm will imply this 2 ohm will remain same so 2 ohm is equal to 2 ohm then next is 0.05 farad 0.05 farad this will be 1 upon j omega c so 1 upon j into omega value is phi u Into C value is zero point zero five. 
if we solve this in calculator directly so it will be 1 upon i into 5 into 0 0.05 1 upon i into 5 into 0 0.05 so this is minus 4j so we can again rewrite these values so this 0 0.05 will be changed to minus 4j ohm its unit will be ohm this 2 ohm will remain same this 1 henry will change to j5 ohm so j5 ohm and this will be changed to 4 at an angle 0 degree 4 at an angle 0 degree volt this io will change to capital io now we can easily find the impedance so impedance z is equal to this is in series with j5 ohm plus these are in parallel so it will be 2 into minus 4j divided by 2 plus minus 4j this is equal to i into 5 plus 2 into minus 4 into i divided by 2 plus minus 4 into i 2 into minus 4j 2 plus minus 4j so this is equal to total impedance 1.6 1 1.6 plus 4.2j ohm so this is the value of total impedance then we know that current i is equal to v upon z so voltage value is 4 at an angle 0 degree divided by impedance value is this is the value of impedance total impedance is this value so it is equal to we can solve this in calculator 4 at an angle 0 divided by 1.6 plus 4.2 into i 4 at an angle 0 divided by 1.6 plus 4.2 j so this answer is in rectangular form so shift 2 3 so 0 0.889 0 0.889 8 9 at an angle minus 69.14 minus 69.14 and since it is current so its unit will be ampere so therefore this i o value is this much and this answer is in phasor domain in time domain this will be i o is equal to 0 0.889 cos omega the value of omega is 5 so 5 t plus 5 so 5 value is minus so minus 69.14 degree and again it is current so its unit will be ampere so this is the final answer in time domain format for problem b then next is problem c so let's copy this from here then we will copy the circuit now here the value of omega is 10 radian per second so again we will convert convert the circuit convert it this circuit into phasor domain so this 4 cos 4 cos omega t volt will be 4 at an angle 0 degree volt this 1 henry will be 1 henry imply 
जे ओमेगा एल द वैल्यू ऑफ जे इज जे द वैल्यू ऑफ ओमेगा इज टेन इन टू द वैल्यू ऑफ एल इज वन सो दिस विल बी जे टेन ओ होम देन दिस टू ओ होम विल रिमेन सेम सो टू ओ होम विल इम्प्लाय टू ओ होम दिस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फेरेड विल इम्प्लाय वन अपॉन जे ओमेगा सी सो वन अपॉन जे इन टू ओमेगा वैल्यू इज टेन रेडियन पर सेकेंड सो टेन इन टू सी वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव वन अपॉन आई इन टू टेन इन टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव सो दिस इज माइनस टू जे माइनस टू जे ओ होम नाउ यू कैन चेंज ऑल दीज वैल्यूज सो दिस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फेर एड विल चेंज टू माइनस माइनस टू जे ओ होम देन दिस टू ओ होम विल रिमेन सेम दिस वन हेनरी विल चेंज टू जे टेन दिस विल बी जे टेन and this will be changed to 4 at an angle 0 degree 4 at an angle 0 degree volt this io will change to capital io now this circuit is in phasor domain format we can easily find the value of total impedance so z is equal to this j 10 plus this two are in parallel so it will be 2 into minus 2j Divided by two plus minus two j. It is equal to i ten i into ten plus two into minus two into j. Divided by two plus minus two into i. So this will be, this is equal to one one plus nine j. One plus nine j, and since it is impedance, so its unit will be ohm. Now we can easily find the value of I O. So I O is equal to V upon Z. The value of V is four at an angle zero degree divided by impedance value is this value. If we solve this in calculator, so it will be four at an angle, four at an angle, zero degree divided by one plus nine into i. So this answer is in rectangular form. So we can convert this into polar form. Shift two three. It is zero point four four one, zero point four four one at an angle minus eighty three point minus eighty three point sixty five, and since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. Now this answer is in phasor domain. We can convert this into time domain format. So I O is equal to zero point Four four one cos omega. The value of omega is ten radian per second. So ten t plus the value of phi is minus eighty three. So this will be changed to minus eighty three point six five degree. Here also this is degree, and it is current. So its unit will be ampere. So this is the final answer for. current io in time domain format don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and also check out the other videos on this channel and thanks for watching